International Math Olympiad 2014 Problem 6 The first challenge here is to understand the question of the problem. Well, for n equals 3, the maximal number of lines denoted by letter x, which we can paint blue so that the single finite area doesn't have all sides blue, is equal to 2. The value of x is not less than square root of 3, which is 1.7. So the statement of the problem is true in this case. In general case, n is the number of all lines, x is the maximal number of blue lines that do not create any finite region with the entire boundary painted in blue. We see in this example three finite regions two triangles and one quadrilateral, and none of them has the entire boundary painted in blue. Obviously n minus x is the number of non-blue lines. The number of all points of intersection of blue lines that we will call blue points is the number of combinations of x choose 2. We need to prove that x is not less than square root of n. If we can prove that number of non-blue lines is not greater than 2 times the number of blue points, then after a couple of simple algebraic steps, we can prove that x is not less than square root of n. Let's introduce a definition. Let's call a finite region that has exactly one non-blue side a blue region. Each existing non-blue line borders at least one blue region. Otherwise, this non-blue line could be painted in blue without violating the coloring rule. And this would contradict our assumption that x is the maximal number of blue lines in this coloring. Any blue point can have up to four finite blue regions around it. Consider such a specific blue point that has all four blue regions and one of them is a triangle. From that, we conclude that two adjacent blue regions, marked with numbers 2 and 4, cannot possibly be triangles. For a blue region number 2 or number 4 to be a triangle, the third side would have to intersect region number 1, or at least its vertex. But this is not allowed. Three lines cannot intersect in one point. So the two adjacent regions, 2 and 4, must be at least quadrilaterals. And the last blue region, which is marked by number 3, has to be at least a pentagon, because it must have one non-blue side. And the regions 2 and 4 cannot have any additional non-blue sides, which implies that their blue sides must intersect the original two blue sides of region number 3, thus creating at least four blue lines. And with one non-blue line, it requires at least five sides. Let's attach a label to each internal angle of each blue region. Suppose that a blue region has k vertices. We know that exactly two of those k vertices lie on a non-blue line. Then the number of blue angles inside each blue region is k minus 2. The labels have values that are defined by the following rule. The two non-blue angles have labels with 0, and the other k minus 2 labels each has a value 1 divided by k minus 2, so that the sum of all internal labels in each blue region is equal to 1 which gives us one method of counting the total number of blue regions. It's the total number of all labels in the entire coloring. On the other hand, if we sum up all labels around each blue point and then add them up in the entire coloring, then their total will be the same total number of blue regions. It's just a different method of counting it. We can easily prove that in this type of a blue point, which has all four regions around it, and one of these four regions is a triangle, the total number of labels around it can come up to 7 thirds. Since the single blue angle in a triangle is 1, each of the adjacent blue regions are at least quadrilaterals, 
so the blue angles in them can come up to one half each and the fourth region is at least pentagon whose any blue angle can have maximum one third therefore let's call such special blue point a big point let's prove that all other blue points that don't meet the requirements of a big point have the sum of all labels around it not greater than two and that's why we will call them small points in one case we have two triangles in two opposite angles of a blue point note that in such case this blue point cannot have any more blue regions in the adjacent angles because in this case such a region would either intersect these two triangles or the vertices or it would have two non-blue lines which doesn't meet the definition of a blue region that must have only one non-blue side so the sum of all labels around such blue point is equal to two the next case is a blue point with at most one triangular region and at most two other regions so that the sum of all labels around such a blue point cannot exceed two it can only be one plus two times one half and the last possible case is a blue point with no triangular blue regions around it for such point the total of all labels around it is maximum two because each of the surrounding angles can have maximum one half label so we have proved that if we add up all the labels of all the big points and small points that is all the blue points in this coloring we will get maximum two times the number of small points and seven thirds times the number of all big points which proves that the number of all blue regions in this coloring doesn't exceed two times number of small points plus seven thirds number of big points let's also recall the relationship between blue regions and non-blue lines each blue region has its only non-blue side on exactly one non-blue line while one non-blue line may have multiple blue regions that have their sides on that line therefore the number of non-blue lines is less than or equal to the number of all blue regions from which we conclude that number of all non-blue lines does not exceed two times the number of small points plus seven thirds times the number of big points note that if we had instead of seven thirds number two or less than two in this inequality that would be sufficient to prove the statement of this problem because n minus x n is number of all lines x is number of blue lines n minus x is number of non-blue lines is less than or equal to two times the sum of small points and big points that is the number of all blue points which equals the number of pairs x choose two so this extra one third of the number of big points is still in the way in our effort to prove the statement of this problem let's write n minus x the number of all non-blue lines as the sum of n1 which is the number of all non-blue lines that border at least one triangle of a big point and number n2 of all other non-blue lines that do not border any such triangles and also let's define three non-intersecting subsets of the set of all blue regions will denote them by letters R1, R2, and R3. R1 is defined as follows. Consider all triangles of big points and divide them into the groups such that each group has triangles that border the same non-blue line. And then from each such group, we'll select exactly one triangular blue region, which will form the subset R1 so that number of these triangular blue regions in the subset R1 equals exactly N1. The second set, R2, consists of all the non-triangular blue regions that surround the big points and that are adjacent to their triangles. This is the key idea that 
these blue regions are not needed to count the non-blue lines in any of our two sets. The number of blue regions in R2 is simply equal to the number of big points in the entire coloring times 2. The third set of blue regions, R3, is defined as follows. Consider only those blue regions that border the non-blue lines from the second set and divide it into non-intersecting groups such that all blue regions in each group have their non-blue sides on the same non-blue line and select exactly one blue region from each such group. Then the number of blue regions in the subset R3 equals N2, the number of non-blue lines in the second set. Since N1 plus N2 equals N minus X, the total number of non-blue lines, we conclude that N minus X plus 2B is not greater than the number of all the blue regions. And since the number of all blue regions is not greater than 2 times S plus 7 thirds times B, we finally obtain the inequality that is sufficient to prove the inequality of this problem. We're done. For n equals 4, we could paint three lines blue. If we could prove it, then for n equals 4, c that is mentioned in this problem would be 1 and a half. But in this video, we have proved only the basic statement in which c is equal to 1.